Hello everyone, welcome to day, what is it, 32 of my Yusuko log. So, let's see. This problem is problem 3, closing the farm from Yusuko 2016 open contest silver. Alright, so this problem is actually uh, using DSU. However, there's no problem with using DFS. And DSU is a technique that lets you see all of the connected components. And if the whole thing's not one component, then basically you know um, that the whole thing's not connected. And basically, um, the gist of the problem is you have some farms, some roads between the farms, and then uh, you want to shut down all the farms one at a time in some given order. Uh, and then the question is, given the order at all the given times, will you be able to traverse all of the open farms by only going to open farms? So, basically, you'll just like mark the um, the closed farms as non nodes I guess just disconnect it from everything don't go to it and basically what you can do is uh, go to any open farm and then do a DFS and if by the end of the DFS you do not reach um, you do not reach all of the open farms so like if you have a counter, if the counter is not equal to um, n minus whatever, then you know that you're not able to traverse all of the farms. Also, um, the whole thing might be disconnected at the very beginning. So, for example, if 1 goes to 2 and 3 goes to 4, but there's no connection between them, that means there's basically a, a closed system already. Alright, so here's how I solved it with DFS. So um, these are my variables. I have add j list, visited, closed, counter. So counter gets reset every time you check um, check for the number of farms you can go to. And I got the input. So the input is basically like it gives you the adjacency list. Very simple. Um, Alright, so on the first go we just try to traverse the whole thing. If it works out then we print out yes. If it doesn't we print out no. And here's how I do it. Uh, we go from 1 to less than or equal to n. And then we set also all the visited to false. Um, and then here, if check ants, so check ants is a function, check answer, j, which is the current one that we're at, is not equal to n. So basically, if we don't reach all of the farms, then found equals false, break. And then found is true at the beginning. So basically, as soon as we find that we can't reach all of the farms from one farm, that means uh, the answer is no. If we can reach it for all of them, then we print out yes. Um, wait, I could also just like, let me see. Well, I mean, it's either like a yes or no problem, actually. So I can do like else. That's true. Break. Alright. So, this is a lot better. It saves a lot of time. I might just bring this over. Alright. 
right? Yeah. Okay. So where was I? Um, okay, I should explain the functions. This is the most important part. So basically, um, let's see. Check answer is uh, you have to give it an uh, integer. It's called start, so the one that we're starting the DFS at, basically. And then the counter is set to, to 1. Uh, DFS start. Return the counter afterward. So DFS here, we get the node that we're currently at. We visit it. For all the adjacent ones, we visit those, if they're not closed, of course. Um, and we haven't visited them before. Counter plus plus, because we're going to it. And then DFS. Alright. Very simple. Um, yeah, now for the grander loop. Uh, right here, this whole thing. So this is basically the same as this, except um, this is checking for uh, after we start closing things. So we're shutting down all the farms one by a one at a one at a time. Sorry, I can't speak that clearly. Um, a little bit late at night right now. But, you know, there's no school tomorrow, so no problem. Alright, so we go from 0 to n, which is uh, the number of uh, times that the farms are shut down, of course, because there's n farms, you have to shut them down n times individually, of course. Um, now, int current closed. We get that inputted, closed, current closed equals true. Makes a lot of sense. Found equals true. And uh, this is the same loop. Wait. I don't even have to write this. I mean, it's no harm in writing it, actually. Whatever. Um, so yeah. If it's not closed, so the current one that we're at is J uh, that we're checking for. If it's not closed, then we start searching. If we find it, good. If we don't find it, it's bad. Let's see. Yeah. So here we output. Um, if I is not equal to n minus 1, so this is because um, on the n minus one, uh, which is basically the last one, so we're closing all of them at that point. So it's like you don't have to answer. So you only have to answer for the first ones or uh, the ones before the last one, because those are the actually ones that matter. Because if you close all the farms, of course, you can't really have an answer in that case. You can't traverse a graph with no nodes. So that's why we do this. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this video actually. Uh, what would I say I've learned? I would say I learned how to properly write a DFS function, how to write a check answer function that uses the DFS, how to use a counter variable because this was actually kind of confusing. I I originally had a structure where it was like I had two integer inputs, but then I realized um, that won't help me. Like the counter variable cannot go up any levels. Like it has to be declared on the top level, which is here, and then subsequently here. And lastly, we can simply add to it when we get to a node. So that's the uh, DFS way to solve this problem. In the future when I learn DSU, or disjoint set union, I'm pretty sure, I will try to come back and solve it with that method. Because this is a easy graph problem according to usico.guide. Uh, and I'm glad that I was able to solve it, because I am quite new to graphs. Uh, but soon I won't have that excuse anymore, so I hope I'll be able to 
and at least do some normal to hard problems on my own, given enough practice. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and wait, do I have anything to say? Okay, I recorded a machine learning video today. I'll upload it tomorrow. I'll just upload this one for today. Um, what else? I also want to write a Python video, like a beginner Python video, because the stuff I thought of was not that complicated. I was also thinking of doing a processing video, maybe in the future, near future. I did a paint splat project. That was pretty interesting. Using uh, different types of random, uniform and Gaussian. So I can go over that project. I do like it quite a bit because I drew some triangle splats. And in the uh, project directions, it was just squares and circles. So uh, I did add my own unique twist. And I tried to figure out how to do the equilateral triangle. And I based everything off of the y value. So to x, you can basically add the y value that you picked multiplied by uh, or divided by root 3, I think. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. So thank you guys for watching. And see you guys next time.